Werner Heisenberg was one of the most renowned physicists of the 20th century, a pioneer of quantum mechanics who made fundamental contributions to the field in the 1920s and 1930s. However, his connections and cooperation with the Nazi regime during World War II, an intense debate among historians. Was Heisenberg a committed Nazi scientist trying to build an atomic bomb for Hitler, or a reluctant collaborator who tried to stall the German nuclear weapons program? The truth about his complicated legacy remains contested to this day. But before we can understand the controversies around Heisenberg's wartime decisions, we first need to understand his background. Who was Heisenberg? As a child, Heisenberg was a member of the German youth movement known as the Pathfinders from around 1911 to 1915. This outdoors youth organization emphasized nationalism, reverence for nature, and loyalty to one's close comrades. Some have speculated that Heisenberg's Pathfinder ideals influenced his later willingness to collaborate with the Nazi regime for the sake of preserving German science. Heisenberg had a strained relationship with his father, who he felt pressured him academically. In a 1969 interview, Heisenberg stated, My father had the fixed idea that I should become a professor. From the start, I was indignant about my father's influence but could do nothing about it. This tension may have shaped Heisenberg's independent streak. In 1920, he entered the University of Munich to study mathematics and physics. He was soon drawn into the innovative quantum research being pioneered by physicists like Niels Bohr and Arnold Sommerfeld. Sommerfeld served as Heisenberg's doctoral advisor and recognized his immense talents in physics at an early age. At just 24 years old, Heisenberg published his groundbreaking paper on matrix mechanics, which helped usher in a new era of quantum physics. For this work, he was awarded the 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics. In 1927, Heisenberg formulated his famous uncertainty principle, which holds that the position and momentum of subatomic particles cannot be precisely measured at the same time. This profoundly shaped the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. By the late 1920s, Heisenberg was recognized as a leading figure in atomic theory and quantum physics. But everything has changed after Hitler's rise to power in 1933. Heisenberg chose to remain in Germany, despite the regime's anti-Semitic policies that led many other scientists to flee. He continued his distinguished career, helping establish Germany's nuclear research program in 1939. Some argue Heisenberg was sympathetic to Nazi ideals of nationalism and German scientific prowess. Others claim he was more pragmatic and apolitical, hoping to preserve physics research under Nazi rule. He did not openly resist the regime, but tried to protect Jewish scientists in subtle ways behind the scenes. Decords show that during the Nazi era, Heisenberg was monitored by the SS and Gestapo due to his ties to Jewish physics. Despite this intimidation, he attempted to help some Jewish scientists impacted by growing anti-Semitic policies. Though with limited success, these included lobbying efforts to allow his mentor Arnold Sommerfeld to retain his professorship and sending letters of recommendation to assist Max Born in emigrating from Germany after losing his position. Heisenberg's controversial status under the Nazis was seen in the fight over who would succeed Arnold Sommerfeld's prestigious professorship at the University of Munich. Heisenberg was the chosen successor, but came under attack in 1937 from Nazi physicist Johannes Stark, who called him a white Jew representing Jewish physics. Stark wrote in a personal note to physics advisor Wilhelm Muller in 1937, I must take a stance against appointing the Jewish cow tower Heisenberg as Sommerfeld's successor. Heisenberg belongs definitively among the representatives of Jewish physics, is the spirit of Einstein's spirit, and should not be appointed as teacher of German youth. This prompted an investigation into Heisenberg by the SS and Gestapo, authorized by Heinrich Himmler and Reinhard Heydrich. Heisenberg appealed to Himmler through personal connections, but was still rejected for the Munich Post. But with the start of World War II, Heisenberg was drafted into the secret German project to develop atomic weapons. He and other scientists were instructed by the Nazi government to explore nuclear fission for military applications. Heisenberg became the head of the research team, which included scientists like Otto Hahn and Karl Friedrich von Weizsäcker. They focused primarily on nuclear reactors, but also investigated isotope separation and bomb physics. In 1939, 
Heisenberg gave a lecture explaining how a nuclear reactor could be built to produce energy and bomb material. This prompted increased German funding and momentum for the nuclear program early in the war. However, the German program lagged far behind the Manhattan Project. Historians debate the reasons why. Some cite Germany's limited resources compared to the massive industrial effort of the Americans, but many point to apparent errors and miscalculations Heisenberg made about critical mass and other basics of bomb making. Heisenberg's motives during the war remain perhaps the most heated controversy surrounding him. Did he intentionally delay and derail the German bomb program because he feared Hitler acquiring such weapons? Or did the Germans simply fail in their efforts because of Heisenberg's technical misunderstandings? One of the most enigmatic events during Heisenberg's controversial wartime role was his private 1941 meeting with his mentor Niels Bauer in occupied Copenhagen. The exact details of this meeting remain uncertain to this day, but it exemplifies the moral tensions facing scientists working under oppressive regimes. Bauer apparently came away deeply disturbed later writing to a colleague that Heisenberg had made it perfectly clear to me that he was working enthusiastically on the problems of an atomic bomb. However, accounts vary on what was actually said during the meeting. Some evidence indicates Heisenberg hinted at prospects for developing nuclear weapons, alarming Boer who feared Germany acquiring such capabilities. Other interpretations argue Heisenberg was trying to signal to Boer through vague hints that the German program was not advanced hoping Bauer would convey this information to the Allies. In retrospect, the private meeting encapsulated the moral tensions of the era, as two former scientific colleagues found themselves on opposite sides of World War II's most destructive new technology. The full truth of what transpired remains ambiguous given the limited evidence, but clearly Bauer was convinced Heisenberg was intending to pursue nuclear weapons for the Nazi cause. After the war, Heisenberg claimed he had deliberately stalled the German research to prevent an atomic bomb. However, Allied intelligence officers who debriefed Heisenberg at Farm Hall did not entirely believe this. Samuel Goodsmith wrote in 1947 that Heisenberg's team failed because of incompetence, not moral objections. Other evidence suggests Heisenberg subtly tried to thwart the program. According to physicist Friedrich Houdermans, Heisenberg secretly communicated to Allied scientists in 1941 that he was trying to delay the research but had to follow Nazi orders. Recently released farm hall transcripts revealed that Heisenberg privately understood key principles of bomb making, which he apparently did not share with the Nazi government. While Heisenberg does not appear to have been an overt Nazi ideologue, neither was he a resistance figure. His apparent willingness to collaborate with the immoral regime to preserve his career and German science led to controversial compromises. Whether he lived up to the moral standards expected of a man of his intellect remains contested by historians. Heisenberg's actions embodied the nuanced realities of life under totalitarianism. With limited power and dangerous consequences, how far should one resist or comply with an unethical authority? There are rarely simple answers. Heisenberg's ambiguous legacy inhabits the uncertain gap between heroic ideals and pragmatic complicity. His controversial role in the German atomic program will be debated for generations, much like the paradoxes of quantum physics he pioneered. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about your favorite scientist, simply click on this video.